Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number two, we'll start reading. But Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched it by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on a mountain on one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. There was a valley between them. There went out a champion of the camp of the Philistine named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail. The weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam and his spear's head weight uh, weighed 600 shekels of iron, one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said unto them, why? Are ye come out to set your battle in array? I am not I a Philistine and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard the words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Amen. Thank you for standing for the reading of the word tonight. Amen. I believe we could probably read the entire story. And it fit our uh, message tonight, but I believe this is a, is an extremely familiar story to churchgoers, especially. Amen. I want to preach to you tonight, if the Lord would help me, on this thought: giants keep coming. Giants keep coming. Amen. If if you haven't noticed in the society we live in today. It seems like we can't get past one thing before something else is there. Right, right, right. Anybody say amen? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody identify with that? Yeah. Yeah. Or as they would say at the colored folk church, can I get a witness? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You're with me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. Amen. We can't get past one thing until something else right. is facing us. Right. Amen. David was this young man that had uh, come at his father's request to go and see how your brother or Pharaoh, amen, in the battle. Amen. That was a wonderful, noble thing that Jesse had done to find out what was going on down in the battle. They had been down there for 40 days now. Amen. And it looked like by now there should be word back. They have done defeated the enemy. Amen. Amen. Well, I've been that way, haven't you? Amen. 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 I've been in battles longer than a day or two. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. If I could just be truthful with you, I'm in some right now that I've been there a while. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I hope I, I hope I can get better than this. Amen. 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 Preach to you in a few minutes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But look, this, this little boy, Dave, had come. Amen. And as he come in, uh, Goliath, it was time for Goliath to step out in that valley. It always intrigued me reading this text of scripture. Amen. That uh, the Israelites were on one side and the Philistines on the other. Amen. And in the middle is where they came to join the forces against one another. Amen. And you know where that was? In the valley. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do, do we not always think within ourselves 
Amen. When we're going through, it seems like our hardest battles, it's we're in the valley. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. That's where the challenge was going to come. Amen. And as David come there on that scene that day, and Amen. And Goliath come and he roared out the threatenings and uh, roared out uh, the demand. Send me a man that I may fight uh, against him. David happened upon that scene at that moment. Amen. And all of a sudden, fear gripped all of Israel. Amen. On the on the on the on the hillside. Amen. It was low. Amen. That a, a pandemonium had set in. Amen. And if you could if you could see in the spiritual sense. Amen. Oh, thank God we can't always do that. Amen. But it seems as though. Amen. At times there's a pandemonium that has set in. Amen. In the church world in general. Amen. Today. Amen. The devil is telling us. Amen. I defy the God you serve. Amen. Are you with me? Find the God you serve. Amen. He's not able to heal you. Oh, oh, come on now. Help me for a minute. Amen. I told one of these brothers, said, Amen. It's been a minute since I saw you. Amen. But it's actually been months. Amen. Since we saw it. Amen. So help me a minute. Hallelujah. I might not preach for a month. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. But the defiance. Amen. With that that was down in this valley. Amen. Roared up the mountainside. Amen. And there. Amen. With all that fear that was going on. I believe Saul's heart trembled within him. Amen. But there was one boy. Amen. That said within himself. Amen. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine to talk such talk? Amen. In the midst amen, of Israel's army. Amen. I'm telling you, it don't take but one of us. Amen. To get a real desire to be my God. Amen. We can have revival right here in the house. Amen. To kill the 
still and destroy. Amen. But there's some things, amen, some people that I would like to declare to you, they're worth fighting for. Hallelujah. Amen. They're worth standing up for. Amen. Though it be a giant. Amen. And it's way too big for me. Amen.
man of war from his youth. And you're just a young fella. And that's what I feel. Amen. And even in this house, I sit back and pray. Lord, have mercy. All these great people here. No telling how many preachers are in the house. Amen. And Lord, I've got to stand up there when they're so much better than I. Amen. And the Lord said, it may be your giant. Amen. But I'll give you power to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Amen. You know what David did when they said that? Oh, brother Ed, oh, David began to rewind. Amen. And he backed up and he thought for a minute and said, I remember. Amen. When I was keeping my father's flock. Amen. And a lion come out. Bigger than he really is. Amen. 
Yeah. Yeah, he makes himself bigger than he really is. After all, do you know that threaten that he gave you? He can't do nothing about it. No. He can't touch you. Uh, hallelujah. I'm hearing somebody get real happy. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember what he told Job? Amen. Pastor, he said, Amen. You can do everything but touch his life. You can't touch his life. Amen. You know what he did? He done everything but touch his life. Amen. You know, if he could have, he would have. Amen. He proved that in how swift that he put that upon Job. And then he said, You can touch his body, Amen. but you can't take his life. Smart. 
in Moses' name. Hallelujah. Amen. But them smartphones, amen, can get people into major trouble with giants in their life. Amen. Because they get all by themselves. You ain't going to help me, are you? David went. He was going to face Goliath. Heaven. Amen. And he was going to fight over him and prevail. We already know that. But in this narrative, the children of Israel didn't know whether David was going to prevail or not. Matter of fact, that whole host of the army was at stake because of David. Amen. Amen. Right, sure. yeah. And I thought today while I was sitting there, I wrote this little thing down. I put a little Heaven. mark on it so I wouldn't forget it. Heaven. Amen. Heaven. Will we sit passive while something comes in, steals our family out, or a church member out, or will we take chase in pursuit of the enemy? Oh. An adversary. Oh, Amen. Come on. I wonder what he would have done to Goliath if half or three quarters or the entire army oh, yes. come charging down the hill right. to stand right behind David. Right. Oh. Amen. But really, yeah. they didn't none of them have faith he was going to win. Oh, no. <laughs> Amen. But what he said down in that valley. Amen. Was probably something they couldn't hear on the hillside. He said, You come to me and defy the armies of the living God, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Amen. And there that day, he slew that giant. Amen. I'm telling you, amen. There's probably, probably some of us here tonight, we got giants, and some of us probably don't want to say, He's targeting us. I gotta hurry. I, I, I'm gonna promise myself I'm gonna be done before nine. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> David slew that giant. Amen. But nobody goes through life with only one giant. David was once Saul's armor bearer, now Saul's successor. Amen. Once he was a shepherd boy, now he's King David. Oh, amen. I'm leaving that story. Amen. But still, giants came. Amen. The giant sun that stands. Amen. There's major hurdles in our life. Amen. That we feel like we cannot overcome. Amen. Trials, problems. Amen. Or handicaps. Amen. Will not the only giant that comes. Amen. Others will be our adversary. Amen. Second Samuel 
Matthew 21 said, Amen, that it is my beloved. Amen, I promise you I'm not going to say it fast. Amen, I'll tell you what I call him. I just call him Mob. Amen. That giant Mob thought to have slain David. Amen, this is years later in David's life. Amen. And David was out not wanting to be one to sit back. Amen. On the lines. Amen. Like he did before. I'll get there in a minute. Amen. But he's out on the battlefield. Amen. And don't fall out with David. Amen. But he waxed weak in battle. Yeah. Amen. And I've preached this before. Amen. Uh, in a different message. Amen. That. Uh, amen. So you got to understand when the pastor's battling, he's battling in his family for himself. Amen. For individuals in the church, for lost sinners. Amen. That he's got a burden on. He's battling in all those territories. Amen. So don't get upset. Amen. Because your preacher man might get a little weak. Amen. But there's somebody. Amen. That ought to play the role of another man. Hallelujah. Amen. Come here, brothers. You don't mind standing for a minute. I won't leave you long. Hallelujah. Come here, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. But there were some giants. Amen. It was after them pastors. Amen. If you will. To extinguish the light of Israel. Amen. And there was another man that was across there slaying his own battle. Amen. Killing his own. Amen. But you know what? In that story, he always had his eye over there on that man that held the light of Israel. Amen. And he saw there was a child that got his eyes fixed on the man of God. Amen. And he was making his way. Hallelujah. Amen. I wonder, is there an Abishai for Brother Simpson? Amen. Is there an Abishai? Hallelujah. Oh, come on here. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, come on, come on. Hey, man, you can come to uh, the glory of God. And hey, you ain't gonna fight behind him. You're gonna fight in front of him. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You know why? He was growing weak. Oh, glory. Hey, and that's no fault of a man. Oh, glory to God. Hey, man, but I'm telling you, that day, that giant fell. Hey, man, he's my demon.
And when he sat off the battlefield, that's why he didn't sit in the battlefield or in the luxury no more. He went to battle. Amen. Even if it was a giant. Amen. You know why it's so important? You know why it's so important? I'm closing. Amen. Music. You know why it's so important to kill this giant that's in front of me? Because there's another one. There's another one. You ever had things pile up on you and you felt like it was all too big for you? It's because you didn't overcome that one. Then you take the next one. Sorry for some poor preaching. You brought your whole church over here. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Giants keep coming. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. To kill the giant is the utmost importance. He will pursue rain or shine. Amen. Thick or thin, he will deliver his attack on us. Amen. But there, it is a comfort in knowing. Amen. Oh, glory to God. There's one that will not fail us. Amen. Ephesians said, What is the exceeding greatness of his power? Far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all the church. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Everybody know his name? Everybody know his name? Now say it like you mean it. Glory to God. Say it again. Jesus. Oh, I believe mean, y'all getting a hold of this. Amen. Jesus, there's a giant in front of me. Amen. I like that song. Amen. Jesus, give him the honor. Jesus, give him the praise. Jesus, give him the glory. It's all in Jesus. My sweet Jesus. It's all in Jesus. Give him the praise. Oh, glory to God. Has he ever took a time down for you? Do you know the experience? Oh, glory to God. Have you ever made a rule? Yes. How has that fallen from heaven? Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. How has that fallen down to the ground? And we can some nations. And then Jesus said, He said,
Carolina over got two churches here. Let me see your hand from both churches. If you come to really have church. Oh. It's a majority of us anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, amen. See there, devil. You ain't gonna get this one either. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. This giant is gonna be slain. Amen. You know why? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Shut the Lord! Ain't there anybody need a giant killed? Ain't there 